Hi there. <laughs> You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Man. Here we are, huh? So, uh, I'm really not sure what I should say about this video. Uh, but I feel like I, I felt like I owed people a video because it's been at least two weeks since I published a video. And, uh, when I published my last video, my ambition was to be publishing one new video every day. And it's been two weeks, no videos. Uh, it's not that there hasn't been any activity. I've been very busy. Uh, and the main thing that I was working on actually was a new website for this channel. Uh, and that was all going pretty well and I actually deployed it and it was all good. But then I got busy with another thing and uh, I came back to another thing and I ended up making wholesale gross changes to my web framework that I've been working on for a while. Uh, and it's all completely like, you know, move fast and break things sort of, uh, you know, situation. And I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I just changed everything like heaps. <laughs> Uh, and it is getting a lot better and man, I've got so much work to do and I love doing it and I think I'm basically doing the right thing by, you know, taking this on. I, I am writing my own framework. Uh, I don't know how well advised that really is, but I just wanted to take on all of those problems and work through them and I want to work out how to do a web framework, how to do an object relational model. Uh, you know, active record implementation, database access toolkit, you know, code generation for, you know, uh, domain models and all of this sort of stuff that I just want to get down and dirty with. So I'm working on that. Bottom line is <laughs> I accidentally <laughs> um, uh, completely fucked my framework and then the new website was using it and I haven't fixed that yet and I will, but it's broken and I didn't mean to. And I'm sorry, right? Like, I'm just sorry. And the website's not working at the moment. And I can't fix it right now. It's going to take me a couple of days. And it's not really a problem because I don't really have that many viewers. But I do have a few people, like, you know, like, I, I've done about 50 videos now. And uh, they were getting about 20 views, which is, like, nothing. Uh, and then it jumped up to like 200 views, which, you know, if you missed a beast is still nothing. But for me, that's like 10 times earlier. So technically things are exploding and I did promise people uh, more content and I am going to do this stuff and I'm really looking forward to doing it and it will be happening. But I just had to record this kind of like emergency video because so much shit is going on today that I just felt like I had to put something out there, put something on the record, let people who have so wonderfully subscribed to the channel know that more electronic stuff is coming. I haven't forgotten about you. I am sorry it's been two weeks and I haven't released anything. I will get around to it. My ambition is to make sure that I've got a good buffer of videos so that there's one coming out every day. The new website is supposed to help me with that by allowing me to schedule videos, but it's kind of a bit broken at the moment and I will fix it soon, but not right now. Right now I'm going to tell you about a few things that are going on um, because I really felt like I had to. Uh, I wouldn't go so far as to say that I'm having a crisis, but it's not so far away from that. Um, honestly, uh, shit is pretty real for me at the moment because my dad's just had open heart surgery and, uh, it didn't go well and, uh, there was a bit of a cover up so that we didn't get all scared about how bad it was and they had to postpone him for a day and they had to take him back the next day and do some more stuff. And what they're telling me now, as long as they're not telling me lies to keep me like happy, is that he's okay and it's all finished and he's doing good. So fingers crossed dad doesn't die on the operating table or in the ward this week. Uh, I, I don't know what more I can say about that, but you know, hugs for dad and we wish him well. Uh, the other thing that's going on, which has really rattled me a little bit, perhaps more than it should, but... I started thinking about it and like this week um, I was having some problems with my IDE 
Uh, the one that I've been using for a long time now is NetBeans. I know it's not particularly popular, but it was working for me and I was just rolling with it because it was okay. Um, and then I had some sort of a problem. I don't even remember what it is now, but something about NetBeans ceased to work quite correctly and I thought, ah, oh, fuck this. So I installed Visual Studio Code and I thought I'll give that a go. And since I was there, I thought, ah, oh, well, fuck it, I'll plug in uh, GitHub Copilot. And Jesus, fuck me. Like, I mean, the last couple of days, honestly, AI has written half of my code. Like, it did things I couldn't even begin to imagine that it could do. Now, a lot of what it says is just bullshit, and it gets in my way a lot, and there's some very annoying things about it. But I told it, like, the function name of some of my functions and it fucking wrote the code for me and I was like how the hell did it know how to do that so I just feel like you know like maybe the singularity is like next Tuesday you know like far out man you know like my dad's getting operated on and they're cutting him up and putting in a new fucking heart valve and I'm here doing programming and the fucking code is written by a AI, I mean, what's going on? Is this going on for everyone else as well? I mean, it wasn't so long ago I used to have to write my own code, but not, now half of it's just done. And I really appreciate the effort, and you know I've got ChatGPT open in the other windows, so like if I want to know something, I just ask ChatGPT, and it gives me like a pretty good answer most of the time. <laughs> And, uh, you know, between ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot, like, I can just do so much stuff so quickly, and it's just silly. And is everyone else in the same reality as me? Because I couldn't do this last week, and I can do it this week, and that's just, this, this is madness. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a list of things I wanted to tell you guys about. So, my dad's surgery, I told you about that. The new website. I've been working on it. It went pretty well. I did a whole lot of cool stuff. I've got a short linking service, so I've got little links that take you out to my affiliate links where you can choose where you want to buy your stuff. And, you know, I, I, it's ready so that I can start releasing things and synchronizing with YouTube and Patreon and my blog and the website and they all come online together and I can queue up work so that it looks like I'm releasing a video every day which is still my ambition but I haven't been succeeding in the last two weeks and I am sorry about that and I'll try to return you to our scheduled programming as soon as possible. So I already mentioned about AI programming, wow, like seriously we are living in the future, that is just amazing. You know, what AI is doing at the moment just blows my mind. I don't know what the future is. It's just crazy. A lot of what it says is rubbish, but a lot of what it says is really helpful and useful. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, wow. Um, uh, of course, the other thing that's happened around here just recently, I upgraded our network. We used to have uh, FTTC, which is fiber to the curve. So there was a fiber optic link out to somewhere on the street and then they just ran copper into the house and the best throughput we could get was about 100 megabits down they said do you want a free upgrade and I was like yeah sure and then we're like by the way after your free upgrade your $85 a month uh, subscription will become a $110 a month uh, subscription and I was like sure to hell with it let's do it and then uh, they did that and they came in and they upgraded the thing and it is faster it's gone from 100 megabits to 250 megabits down the upload is basically the same at around 20 megabits the ping is pretty good the ping came in from like 9 milliseconds to 7 milliseconds so it is the latency is just a little bit improved and the download is two and a half times so I can't really complain about that but the fuckers took my IP address off me. I had a static IP address. All of my infrastructure was using it. I was trying to save on my AWS spend by having some services at home, not least my Salt Master. So, of course, when the IP address changed, the whole network fucked out. And I thought, ah, oh, Jesus. And I didn't have a static IP, and I wasn't even sure if I could get one. So... Uh, I had to go to the ISP. Eventually, they came back and they gave me a static IP for an extra $5 a month, I might add. 
which I've got now, which is good. So in the next couple of days, I can redo everything. Of course, imagine this for a catch-22, right? My salt master is here on my home network. So when they take my home network IP address off me, my salt master disappears. But I need my salt master to push changes to my infrastructure. But I can't push changes to my infrastructure because I don't have the salt master IP address anymore. What a fucking nightmare that is. So I've got to go and figure out how to reconfigure all of my services manually so that they can access the new salt master on the new IP address. And that's just another thing for me to do. I was busy already and I've got to do that. So uh, that's another thing that's going on here at the moment. And of course, you know, my DNS servers are managed by my salt master and I can't push out changes to DNS because I can't push out salt master changes because of the thing. So it's all a fucking nightmare. It's only going to take me a few hours to fix, but I haven't fixed it yet. And honestly, I'm not having a good day. So I just wanted to vent. Uh, <laughs> and that concludes today's video. So, uh, look, I'm sorry for all of the swearing and I really did just want to get this out there and I do feel better already. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, I, uh, the main reason for publishing this video is to let people know that soon I will be back to the reg regular scheduled programming which is going through the electronics videos. Uh, but in the meantime, I really felt compelled just to share with you some of the things that are going on because, wow, I mean, just wow, right? Like life is just so seriously fucking weird and we are living in a very interesting time and uh i felt like uh i should probably just highlight that for everyone um so i i i uh, i i just wanted to to uh tell people what was going on uh over here and, and maybe send out some good vibes and say, you know, I'm here and I'm still good and those videos are coming and, uh, and, and really just, uh, just check in. So uh, I'm not sure exactly how I title this video, but uh, I'll, I'll think about it and I'll publish it and, uh, and that'll be that. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I do uh, electronics videos and uh, I'm looking forward to returning you to our scheduled programming. And, um, uh, of course, I've uh, created a bit of a, a job for myself because uh, I also do the, the old book and the new book feature for regular scheduled video videos on the show, um, which makes it more effort to do a video for the show because I've got to do those things as well. Um, but I am planning to continue with that and take all that on, and I look forward to doing it. But I, I, I really just wanted to vent, and, uh, and I wanted to tell you about my dad um, so, you know, uh, thoughts are with him and uh, also just remark on how amazing it is. Like, I mean, are you guys using ChatGPT and, and GitHub Copilot? Because, I mean, seriously, that stuff is blowing my mind. And uh, the last uh, 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 week or two, but particularly the last couple of days while I started to get my head around those tools, it's like, whoa, <laughs> things are changing pretty quickly and, and, I, and I'm not quite sure what the future is. And whatever the future is, we've all got to go there together. So, you know, uh, best wishes to everyone and thanks for listening. And I'll be back soon with your regular programming. Thanks for watching. <laughs>